Scene Script Have you ever wondered why Bitcoin's value seems to skyrocket every four years? In the realm of cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin reigns supreme. Unlike traditional currencies minted by governments, Bitcoin operates on a unique system. Instead of an infinite supply, there's a finite amount of Bitcoin, capped at 21 million. This digital scarcity is one of the reasons why Bitcoin is so valuable. But what makes it even more intriguing is a phenomenon known as Bitcoin halving. It's an event that happens approximately every four years, and it could be compared to a digital gold rush. So what exactly is this Bitcoin halving? Imagine you're a gold miner, and every day you dig up a certain amount of gold, but every four years the amount of gold you can extract is cut in half. That's essentially what happens with Bitcoin mining during a halving event. The reward for mining new blocks in the Bitcoin network is halved, meaning the rate at which new Bitcoin is created effectively decreases by 50%. Now you might be wondering, why does this halving event happen? It's a rule written into Bitcoin's code by its mysterious creator Satoshi Nakamoto. This rule ensures that Bitcoin's supply will continue to be released at a controlled and decreasing rate until all 21 million Bitcoins have been mined, which is predicted to happen around the year 2140. This halving event brings with it a sense of anticipation and speculation. Why? Because historically these halving events have coincided with substantial increases in Bitcoin's price. It's a fascinating aspect of Bitcoin's design, one that adds an extra layer of intrigue to this already captivating cryptocurrency. Now that we've skimmed the surface of Bitcoin halving, let's delve deeper into what this event really means for Bitcoin's value. So, how does Bitcoin halving work and why does it happen? Let's delve into the mechanics of this fascinating process. Bitcoin halving is a key part of the algorithm that governs Bitcoin's supply. The concept is simple yet profound. When the Bitcoin network was first launched, miners, the people who solve complex mathematical problems to validate transactions and add them to the blockchain, were rewarded with 50 Bitcoins for each block they mined. This was the initial block reward. But here's the twist. Every 210,000 blocks, this reward is cut in half, an event known as the halving. From 50 Bitcoins, the reward dropped to 25, then 12.5, and so on. The most recent halving, which occurred in May 2020, saw the block reward reduced to 6.25 Bitcoins. But why does this halving occur? It's all designed to control Bitcoin's supply and mimic the scarcity of a precious resource, much like gold. The halving slows the rate at which new Bitcoins are created meaning it will take until around 2140 for all 21 million Bitcoins to be mined. This enforced scarcity is a key factor that impacts Bitcoin's value. In a world where traditional currencies can be printed at will, leading to inflation and the devaluation of money, Bitcoin's halving mechanism stands as a stark contrast. It enforces a predictable diminishing rate of production, like a digital form of gold mining where we know exactly how much gold is left to be mined. So, this process is not just a technicality, it's a deliberate design choice that enforces scarcity and helps to prevent inflation, ensuring Bitcoin's potential as a store of value. It's a cornerstone of Bitcoin's economic model, and it's what makes Bitcoin so different from traditional currencies. Understanding the how and why of Bitcoin halving is key to grasping its potential impact on Bitcoin's value. So, as we move forward, it's worth remembering the mechanics that underpin this revolutionary digital asset. With a clear understanding of Bitcoin halving, one might ask, how does this affect Bitcoin's value? Let's dive into the heart of the matter, shall we? The core principle here is that of supply and demand. When the supply of an item decreases while demand remains the same or grows, the price naturally tends to go up. This is a basic economic principle that applies to everything from apples to zombie and quacha, and yes, even to Bitcoin. So how does this principle apply to Bitcoin halving? When a Bitcoin halving event occurs, the reward for mining new blocks is cut in half, effectively reducing the rate at which new Bitcoin is created. This means that the supply of new Bitcoin entering the market slows down. Now let's assume for a moment that the demand for Bitcoin stays the same or increases. In this scenario, the reduced supply coupled with steady or growing demand could potentially drive up the price of Bitcoin. This is, in essence, the economic mechanism by which Bitcoin halving could impact the value of Bitcoin. But we're not just dealing in hypotheticals here, we've seen this play out in real life. Each time a Bitcoin halving event has occurred, it's been followed by a significant increase in Bitcoin's value. Take for instance the first Bitcoin halving in November 2012. Prior to the halving, the price of Bitcoin was just over $12. Fast forward a year, and Bitcoin was trading at over $1,000. That's an increase of over 8,000%. 
Then we had the second Bitcoin halving in July 2016. Pre-halving, Bitcoin was valued at around $650. A year later, its value had skyrocketed to about $2,500, representing a nearly 300% increase. The most recent halving in May 2020 saw Bitcoin valued at approximately $8,500. Fast forward a year, and Bitcoin reached an all-time high of over $60,000. That's a whopping increase of more than 700%. Now it's important to note that while these price increases followed each Bitcoin halving, they weren't immediate. There was a lag period of about a year each time before the price began to significantly increase. And of course, numerous other factors were at play in these price increases, including general market trends, investor sentiment, and global economic events. The impact of Bitcoin having on its value has been significant in the past, but what does this mean for the future? Well, that's a question for the crystal ball, isn't it? And while I don't have a crystal ball, I can tell you this. The future of Bitcoin is as exciting as it is unpredictable. As we gaze into the crystal ball of Bitcoin's future, what can we anticipate post-halving? Bitcoin halving is a topic that has stirred a whirlpool of opinions and speculations. It's like a grand soiree where everyone from the curious novice to the seasoned investor has something to say. So let's dive into the pool of expectations and see what the future might hold. One school of thought, fueled by past trends, holds a bullish outlook. They believe Bitcoin is a phoenix, ready to rise from the ashes of halving and soar to unprecedented heights. They argue that halving reduces the supply of new Bitcoins, which, coupled with a steady demand, could push the price upwards. However, this optimism is not universal. There's another camp that cautions against over-enthusiasm. They argue that the market dynamics of Bitcoin are more complex and unpredictable than a simple supply-demand equation. Factors such as regulatory changes, technological advancements, and macroeconomic trends can all play a pivotal role in shaping Bitcoin's future. Moreover, while past performance can provide valuable insights, it is not a guaranteed predictor of the future. Remember, the world of cryptocurrencies is still relatively young and volatile. The roller coaster ride that is Bitcoin's price history stands testament to this fact. Then, there's the third group, the agnostics, who believe it's too early to pass a verdict. They argue that Bitcoin's journey is still unfolding, its full potential yet to be tapped. Having, in their view, is just one chapter in a much longer and intriguing narrative. In this dance of opinions, it's easy to get swept away. But it's important to remember that Bitcoin, like any investment, involves risk. It's crucial to do your own research, understand the intricacies, and make informed decisions. Whether Bitcoin's value skyrockets or tumbles post-having, one thing is clear. The intrigue surrounding this cryptocurrency remains. As we wrap up our exploration of Bitcoin halving and its impact, what are the key points to remember? Firstly, Bitcoin halving is a significant event in the world of cryptocurrency, occurring approximately every four years. The process cuts the reward for mining Bitcoin in half, effectively reducing the rate at which new Bitcoins enter circulation. This is a built-in feature of Bitcoin's design, aimed at controlling inflation and preserving the digital currency's value. Secondly, the principle of supply and demand plays a significant role in Bitcoin's value. With each halving, the supply of new Bitcoins decreases, which can potentially drive up the demand and the price. However, this is not a guaranteed outcome. Lastly, it's crucial to remember that predicting the exact impact of Bitcoin halving on its value is uncertain. Numerous factors influence the market dynamics, making future price predictions speculative at best. As we embark on another cycle of Bitcoin halving, the world watches with bated breath. The only certainty is that Bitcoin continues to challenge and reshape our understanding of currency and value.